Now then, it is the symbol of a crumbling empire, colonial relics fallen to ruin. But amid the rampant modernization in Burma's former capital, Rangoon, conservationists are battling to save what these they see as their country's heritage. Many of the city's finest buildings date back to the British Empire, commissioned by the trading firms which made it a hub of global trade. From Rangoon, our Asia correspondent, John Sparks, reports. The sun has set on the British Empire, but you can still see what it looked like in the city of Rangoon. The stonework is crumbling and the ceilings leak, but the shop fronts and monuments remain. They may not last much longer though, business is booming and this city, well it's begun to change. How urgent is the situation? It's extremely urgent. Buildings are being taken down almost literally by the week. I mean, buildings 50, 100, 120 years old. The British called it the Secretariat, and they ran Burma from here. It's so big, it takes up a whole city block, but few have been inside in recent years. Still, we got ourselves through the gate. It took 16 years to build, but would fall into disrepair when the British left in 1948. Interest was rekindled this year when the government put it up for auction, and the winning bid, tabled not by big money developers, but by a group of artists. We were going to open a private art gallery, but when the government auctioned this place, we thought we'd try. But there are many difficulties ahead. I mean, there were business people who were interested, yeah. hotels, mm -hmm. conference centres, but yeah. they, they chose you. Yeah. I just wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was their promise to restore the Secretariat that probably won them the auction. For this is a sensitive and historic site. But can the artists really pull it off? The group's youthful leader seemed overwhelmed. It's a very big surprise because uh, I competed with a very big companies. My, com my competitors were like very famous in Burma and then I didn't expect that I would win this. Did you think, what the heck have I just done? What, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> yes, it's very, a very big responsibility, you know, to the whole country also. Not everyone shares that feeling of responsibility. After years of stagnation, Rangoon's in a hurry. The people want shiny and new. And from their tea shop come offices, developers and estate agents are trying to provide it. No, we've run out of flats, sorry. And they have little time for the city's old buildings. I think they should demolish them and build new ones. They're so old, nobody uses them. They can fall down at any moment. Fall down or be demolished. This pre-war cinema will be replaced by a 44-storey hotel. A small group called the Heritage Trust wants to preserve places like this, but they've got their work cut out. The Heritage Trust are trying to save this building. It's called the Mioma Cinema, but they're losing the battle. In fact, I think they've lost it. At a time in, in Burma or Myanmar, where people feel that almost everything needs to change, we want to give people the message that we have a beautiful city that also needs to be protected. If they're going to survive, colonial buildings like the old headquarters of the Burma Railway here are going to have to pay their own way. And the owner of this monster fixer-upper told me he's got a plan. For this particular component, it's going to be turned into a five-star hotel. Um, five about hotel. 80 bedrooms is what we imagine can be fit in here. It's going to be a glass roof that's going to be put on top, and this will be a sort of a, a lobby area. So the structure will survive, but will the atmosphere, that link with the past? In the developers' plans, the railway building seems lost amongst the skyscrapers. Will it still be a heritage building when you're finished? For sure, I really hope that this will be a good example of how we can restore, show how we can restore all buildings in Yangon. This city is at the crossroads. It must choose what to keep and what to throw away. Some say there's room for the old and the new, and it seems the preservation of the city's heritage will rely on them. John Sparks, Channel 4 News, Rangoon. Well, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.